date June 23rd, 2012. It's been a few weeks. A few crazy, crazy busy weeks for me. I really wish I could find my tripod holder, but until then I just have to deal with this. Um, I just wanted to do a really quick video. I don't really have much time to even do a video, um, let alone try to edit it and upload it and all that. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update and let you guys know how things are going. Um, I did have Zariah on June 4th, 2012 at 42 weeks exactly. I went into labor on my own. I'll do a whole other video about my labor and delivery, but for the most part everything went really, really well. Um, things have been really super crazy since then um, with school and clinicals and not getting any sleep and Derek works third shift and has had one day off since she's been born. She's uh, almost three weeks now and he's only had one day off and I had to beg him for that because I... I went on like no sleep for like two weeks and that was awful. <laughs> I am uh, breastfeeding. This is the first time I did not try with my other kids, but I wanted, you know, I really wanted to do it this time. And so that's exhausting <laughs> in itself. It's a lot of work. I find that like all I do is feed all day long because by the time that I feed her and I still have to pump afterwards, um, so I'm not uncomfortable. Um, and then, you know, clean the pump and, and put it away and store it. I mean, it's almost time for her next feeding. So that's really all I've had time to do lately is feed her and change her and do with her and take care of her. And it's a very time consuming. So it's been crazy. Um, and then clinical started. So those are like 12 hour days for me and it's just been really difficult. I had some tests that I had to take, oh my goodness, like nursing school is hard enough and then trying to take care of a newborn, I mean I thought, you know, just being pregnant and going through all of it was hard, but no, it's much, much harder now. And the boys have been great, you know, they're 10 and 6 so they definitely can help out. Um, I feel a little guilty sometimes because I ask them to do quite a bit because I'm just so tired. I mean, I'm just lately been getting about three hour stretches, probably more like two, two and a half hour to three hour stretches. Um, at night, I'll make sure she's really, really fed good, and then I've been swaddling her, so she'll last about three hours uh, at a time. So it's broken sleep, but it's definitely better than what I was getting, which was about two hours a day. Crazy. Um, this morning, I had, I'm still having um, orange coconut juice. I have six oranges and uh, the coconut water from one coconut. So diet's been great. I was 252 on the Friday before I, I gave birth. So I, she was born on a Monday. So that was the last recorded weight. I wanted to do this whole like weight before I went in and measurements and all that and it just didn't happen. It wasn't on my mind at the time I was in labor. So I didn't do that, but I do have it documented on a piece of paper from the doctor, 252. Today I weighed in at 232, so I'm down 20 pounds, and I'm 6 pounds from uh, my pre-pregnancy weight, which is amazing. Um, and when I came home from the hospital, I weighed myself right away. She was 6'6", six, six. so it was a good thing that I was overdue. You know, I kind of feel bad now for trying to rush her out, but she was 6'6", six, six and perfectly healthy and very strong. Um, her doctor... Um, at her first uh, checkup was very impressed with her muscle tone and just her strength and, and all that. So she's a very, very, very healthy baby. Um, but yeah, I came home, I weighed myself, I'm like, oh, I gotta be down at least, you know, like I thought everything was gonna be instant, you know, 15 pounds down between her and the water and the fluid and everything, but I didn't take into account, you know, the extra fluid volume and all that stuff that has to get out of your body, so I came home and I was only six pounds down, I'm like, how am I only six pounds down when she was six six? I should be at least down that, so it wasn't instantaneous, I attribute a lot of it to diet, I attribute it to diet beforehand and even now, and I'm sure the breastfeeding does help, but I mean, I know people that breastfed and didn't lose an ounce because of their diet so um going strong with that um pre I'm really high raw right now I went back to 100% raw and then I started eating cooked again and lately I've been eating more cooked because I'm not getting my calories I mean I don't even have time to barely eat I mean so it's like whenever I feed her and it just just the breastfeeding makes you so tired and you just want to sleep so I don't have the energy to do anything so to get my calories up there I could eat a whole bunch of oranges or eat a whole bunch of fruit or what have you um, and sometimes it's easier just to have a potato or have you know some rice or something like that I still eat primarily vegan so that is uh, all with my diet, and I'm really excited to um, embark on my weight loss journey. Um, again, I am going to wait till the six weeks before I start exercising and all that. 
but I will show you guys a couple videos, a couple pictures um, that I've had that I posted on Facebook, on my personal Facebook. If you want to just PM me and I'll give you um, my personal Facebook as well. I do still blog when I can on rawlifestyle.com, so I've been posting things about what I eat and diet and recipes and stuff like that there, so check that out if you guys want to connect with me there. But aside from the craziness, um, things are getting better, that's for sure. And I will definitely try and do some videos in the future, but for now, I just, school is a priority. This class is super, super, super hard. I have clinicals now. I have six weeks left, so I'll try and do at least one or two videos before that's done. And then I can do some more, but I'm sorry that I waited until she's three weeks, but I'll post the pictures. I mean, her 10-hour photo, when she was 10 hours old, is amazing. She's so alert and bright, and she's an amazing child, but now she's crying because things she wants to eat. It's like she wants to eat all the time, but I will show her. Hey, hey. Hey you, I give her a pacifier sometimes just because she likes to suck. I even caught her sucking her thumb. But this is little Zariah Grace. And like I said, I'll post pictures. I have a video of her at like four days old. Um, and I'll post that all on this video if I can. Here's her sitting up like a big girl. Wobbly head wobbly head. She holds it up pretty good, but... Hey, you. And she just ate not too long ago, so I don't know why she's so fussy. Hey, are you going to smile for us? Are you going to smile? Big yawn. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, silly girl. Big brother has been a help. And that's another thing, keeping up in housework, oh my gosh, impossible. <laughs> it's it's like there's only so much time and I had I had to start prioritizing sleep. Like sleep had to be a priority because I just I was getting really, really loopy and things were not going good. So I'm just trying to hang in there. Definitely have to eat good or else, you know, things will be going downhill fast. So that's what I've been doing. Lots and lots of fruit, lots of salads. We joined a CSA. And it's actually a working CSA to be able to afford it and to save us money. It's all organic, but we go on Thursdays for three hours to work on the farm. So that's been, I mean, I don't even know how I have time to just sit and be with myself. Actually, I don't. So I need to work on that too. But, um, oh my goodness. But we'll make it through. We'll make it all work. Yeah, I didn't want to give her a pacifier, but I had to because she just, she likes to suck. And I would rather her use that than me. I would rather you use this than me. Because I just don't have time for all that. I don't have time to feed 24-7, even though it still feels like I am. But yeah, she's doing great with, with breastfeeding, and I'm doing great, and... Sometimes it just tries my patience. So silly girl. Alright, we know what time it is for her, so I get to go. <laughs> silly. So here she is, and I'll post pictures and um and everything else. She's almost three weeks and she's not happy. Next time I'll catch her in a better mood. I just knew I had a couple minutes now. See you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>
you have jokes, Isaiah. You need eight more pregnancies. No, Isaiah. Shh, please. Yep, you're gonna get this pregnancy. Isaiah, shh.